All right, Leo, Gypsy Love Portal here, and I'm going to be doing your first week of December 2020 reading, love reading. So let's find out what's going on with you guys, with your love world, love connection, whoever you're dealing with, whoever you're connecting with. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. All right, here we go. Let's jump right in and let's not waste any more time. Okay. All right, Universal Spirits. What does uh, Leo wants out of this relationship or, or out of whoever they're connecting with? What does Leo need out of this relationship? What do they need from the person or what do they need to do? First week of December 2020. What does Leo need? Leo need oh my gosh it is jumping and how does Leo sees the person they're connecting with how do they see the person they're connecting with how do they see the person they're connecting with universe and spirits how does Leo see the person they are connecting with thank you all right and what does the person want the one that leo is connecting with dealing with what do they want what do they want out of the relationship i mean what do they need from leo or what do they need to out of this relationship or to make it work what do they need what do they need sometimes what they need is not what they want Ooh, i'm seeing transmissions here Receiving transmissions here. I'm gonna take this, put aside. Thank you. Okay, and what how do they see Leo? First week of December 2020. Okay. And what is the energy? I mean not the energy, the forces. What is the forces between them? Okay, that's the forces between them. I like that. I like that. A comparison to whatever's going on the other side. This is the forces between them. Okay. All right. For some of you, not all Leos, for some of you, you're not with the person um, you're connecting with right now. You love, you see you're alone, you're doing your thing, okay? Doing their thing. For some of you, just have to say that. Okay, here we go. Let me go ahead and connect with these cards real quick. Feel their energy. So this will not resonate with all Leos, but it's definitely for Leo, a message for Leo that needs to hear this. And as I talk about you, Leo, uh, remember this. Keep in mind, it could be vice versa, okay? It's however it connects with you. You know what I'm saying right away, if, you know. So. Mm. Okay. So what do you want? What do you want, Leo? We got the Knight of Wands. You want to go to move forward, okay? You do want to move forward with a relationship, with a connection here, with whoever you're dealing with, you know. Even though, you know, you see the dragon over there? You want to move towards the dragon or, you know, like go towards even though it could spit fire, <laughs> okay? You want to, you see the one here, you want to be ready for whatever it comes your way to be able to handle you know negative or positive for some you know i feel that you're actually you are in the relationship okay because the knight of wands they they know what they want they they want something here and they know what they want already okay And what you need, Leo, we got the Eight of Swords. You need to stop creating your own prison. This is the prison of your own making, okay? You need to stop. See, this is going. This is stuck someplace, okay? You need to free yourself. 
you need to take the blindfold out because if you want to make something work here, Leo, you can. This is you feeling that you might not have what it takes to make a relationship work or to make a connection work here, okay? But you do. You do not have to stay. This is telling me what you need is not to stay in this place forever, forever stuck or forever in your head, forever thinking that you don't have what it takes. Because you do. How you see this person, at least for the first week of December 2020, you see them as a heartbreaker. You see that if they want to, they can find somebody else with the Three of Swords and leave you. You see a journal there. Um, leave you with memories, leave you with, you know, empty, break your heart. You probably see them like that because you love them. This is something you see them that they can do to you. But what you need to, how to avoid this, Leo? How to avoid this? Getting out of this state. Being stuck. Being stuck someplace, somewhere. It could be any place, anywhere, really. Like I said, prison of your own making. Because you can get out and do something about it if you really want to. Right? And that's what you need to do. Fly. You see? You see the bird here? Fly. Fly. <laughs> okay? Hey, these are the cards talking. Whatever that may be. Whatever that means. But anyway, I'm going to do some clarifications as well in oracles. Now your person, what do they want? They want, they want balance in this relationship, okay? With the two of pentacles. They want balance. They want to be able to maintain balance, possibly between work and love. They want infinite with you, infinite love. They do want that. They want to maintain the relationship. They want to, you know, they, they value, they value something here. They want to be able to, um, I feel this where they are right now, they want to focus on work and relationship. I don't see this being as two people that they're there with that they want. You know, I don't see them that as a third party situation. I see them trying to create balance. And but what they need though, what they need to make this work. We have the Seven of Swords is to be fair, to be understanding, to not to be sneaky in uh, maybe something there that, you know, I don't want to say sneaky, but they need to trust the situation, maybe trust you. You know, maybe trust because you're 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 in this. This is where you are right now. To trust that there is hope that you can free yourself. But with the five of wands, there's a blockage. Sometimes you guys probably argue, and sometimes you don't. Sometimes everything is probably like great, and all of a sudden it's not. You know, right now. So this needs to create balance. Trying to create balance there, right? They're trying. They want that. They want to create that balance. So no worries, Leo. But there is some disagreements. Sometimes disagreements. Sometimes not. You know. 
conflicts. Sometimes there's a conflict, sometimes everything is great and dandy. It's like you never know what's going to happen sometimes. <laughs> so that needs to get worked on, right? How do they see you as a seven of cups? As a fantasy come true. <laughs> fantasy come true. <laughs> Um, as somebody that probably has options, as somebody that maybe don't know what to choose or what to do when it comes to certain situations or certain things, uh, as somebody that uh, don't know, or, or how can I say, um, they see you as they do see you as a love of their life, but they also see you as um, somebody that can choose other routes other than them, you know? They see you as somebody that maybe possibly can make a choice or choose and or, or how to go about certain situations let's clarify a few things here before i do that though the forces between you guys is good though okay leo king of cups king of cups is both of you or the forces between you guys is settling down not dating around even though you guys might see each other like this, it doesn't mean that that's what's happening. It's going to happen. This is just how you guys see it, things. But you don't see the truth of things. And the forces, the forces between you guys is both of you want the same thing. Both of you do want to settle down. Okay. Both of you have love for each other because the king is holding the cup of love. Both of you have a lot of emotion, but sometimes don't show it. That could be an ego thing, right? I mean, you guys do have this emotion for each other, but a lot of times it doesn't know, don't know how to show it or don't show it to the world, you know, or, or something, somebody here. It's, it's more, it's more, how do you say? more they're in control of their emotion you know um the forces between you guys is definitely not dating around at least not at this time at least not for a while you know it's just you guys have this feeling of settling down together like you're the one you know you know what you want there's love to give here all right, there's a lot of love, but the emotions are, are are controlled right now. Controlled, not showing all your emotions to each other. You guys are not fully showing your emotions. Why are you holding back? Why, right, Leo? Let's confirm or right, clarify a few things here. Clarify the King of Cups for Leo. The forces between them, please. Universe and spirits can find the king of cups for Leo and whoever they're connecting with You got the king of cups and you got the queen of pentacles. This could be male or female energy. It doesn't matter and um, I feel that both of you are very the opposite from each other For some of you it could be culture culture differences um, tra different traditions um but the queen of pentacles uh she is very seductive attractive um uh, artistic side very creative more uh, very fun and playful and uh for some even a player flirtatious you know <laughs> um where the king of cups is, is more conser conservative okay um 
She is very intuitive. You know, the apps that attracts, you know, attractive. Um, what else about this forces between them? Universe and spirits. What else? What else? What else do you should know? What else do you should know in regards to forces between them right now? Two cards fell. I don't know. Look at this. Look at this. I feel that I'm talking about you guys right now, Leo. I don't know why. This king. It's possibly that he's afraid. Or want. But here we go. The forces. There's a change. Transformation. Happening to one of you guys here. But there's something with this rope here. They can't quite let you get over there. It's hesitant. Hesitant. But sometimes procrastinating can make things worse. So allow... Cut this rope out. Okay, Leo? And allow the change to happen. Allow this transformation to happen. Because whatever that you have right now that is happening with you within this connection. If you allow this change or transformation to happen. If you're not afraid of changes. And making something bigger here than what it is it's gonna be better than what you that you got than what you guys had before okay and then we have the queen of pentacles it's like somebody here is who is this person here leo with the knight of pentacles this person here is is comfortable where they're at financially wealth uh, you know, they have everything they need right now, but they don't have you. Completely. Why is that? Is it because you're avoiding this change? Trapped on a prison of your own making or something here? Trapped somewhere or in your head or someplace that you cannot get out and, and do what you need to do in order to work within this realm of your relationship? I really don't feel anything bad. I don't see anything uh, dramatically and bad over here, though, which is a good thing, okay? So as far as I know, they need to work on their side with uh, in regards to conflicts and, you know, disagreements and stuff like that. This could be a mutual thing, right? And uh, you or this person, somebody is trapped somewhere, someplace, whether it's a place or their heads or whatever, that they, somebody here is not feeling that they have what it takes to make a relationship or connection here work or have what it takes to deal with something here. But they don't realize that they actually do have what it takes. But they need to stop procrastinating. They need to allow and the flow to happen. Okay. Let's see. Um, let's see what the spirit guides have to say to you. Okay, Kelly, let's see what the spirit guides have to say to you. What message the spirit guides have have for you? What kind of guidance they have for you? What guidance do you have for Leo spirit guides? First week of uh, December, twenty twenty. What guidance do you have for Leo at this time with the connection, uh, you know, relationship, uh, whoever they're dealing with? What kind of guidance do you have for Leo? One, two, risk. Risk. Take a risk, joy guides. Take a risk, Leo, with this person. See, it's possibly that you are avoiding fear of change, fear of this transformation, because you know it will bring, it will transform your life forever if you take a risk with this person. Okay? Wow. Because deep inside, you know you want to settle down. 
So take a risk. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with, you know, your feelings and emotions. Don't try to control them so much that it's okay. It's okay to show how you really feel for this other person, okay? What's the energy between you guys? What's the energy between you guys, Leo? Let's find out. But this is like the guides are telling you, take a risk. What do you got to lose? You probably, you see, because they can break your heart. I don't know. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen because if the guides are telling you to take a risk, then, then this heartbreak is on your head. Okay, Leo? So let's go ahead and let's see what the energy is between you guys. What's the energy between Leo and whoever they're connecting with? What's the energy? What's the energy? Oh, my goodness. I'm going to take the first card that popped here on the front, okay? Blossom, blossoming abundance. See, the spirit guides are telling you to take a risk because it's going to bring you abundance once you do that. Once you allow this change, this transformation to happen in your life within this uh, connection that you have with this person, with whoever you're dealing with, Leo. So this is great. This is uh, abundance. This is having the love of your life. Um, finances rolling good, you know, um, a mutual thing happening here and this is usually rare right um why wouldn't you want to take a risk uh let's see what the romance angels have to say to you leo what message romance angels do you have for leo in regards to this relationship or whoever they're connecting with whoever they're dealing with first week of december 2020 first week of december trust trust i'm gonna take the first card that fell trust all right trust trust in the connection that you have right now trust in the relationship trust that everything is going to work out leo this situation is calling for you to have faith okay calling for you to have faith take a risk it's a blossoming abundance and trust the process all right let's do one last oracle card for you here leo the love oracle card let's see what the message is here it's actually a good reading leo you just gotta let go of your fear allow transformation to happen don't procrastinate too too long for this to happen you know don't take too much of it you know, don't take too long to allow it to happen. Because if you procrastinate, it makes things worse. Okay, with the death card here. But get out of the prison of your own making. Get out of the prison of your own making. But anyways. Love Oracle card. Beautiful. Look at this. So the message that of love for you. <laughs> wow. Trust trust another one this is more of a confirmation leo transformation occurs didn't they say oh my gosh the cards don't lie i said change transformation right with the death card transformation occurs through acceptance once you accept the current situation leo it will automatic automatically transform so once you accept, you get out of this, uh, you know, way of thinking, behavior, or like I said, the prison of your own making. I don't know why he keeps saying that to me. Or, you know, old traditions or whatever you, whatever is keeping you like this from allowing something to move forward. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Take a risk. 
it's a blossoming abundance this relationship will bring to you trust the situation is calling for you to have faith trust double confirmation wow all right guys that's it <laughs> thank you so much i hope you enjoyed this reading and was able to help you a little bit uh thank you so much for tuning in i gotta do some more readings now but anyways thank you guys till next time love you ciao Mwah. namaste